Hey guys, it's Annie and I have my friend Rebecca Boatman here once again. Rebecca, tell them what you do. Well there, honey bunches of oats. <laughs> I support single women in attracting a conscious, loving, expansive, amazing partnership. Yeah, mm -hmm. and you've done so for yourself. Yes. And, and you've helped how many people? Thousands of women Thousands. attract and create a wonderful, loving partnership. Thousands. And yeah. you, what is the name of your course again? Manifest Your Evolved Man? Yes. So this is for the woman who wants an evolved partnership, a loving man, a conscious man, who is someone who's also willing to do the work, right? A conscious mm -hmm. and evolved man is someone who realizes that there's something more than just this 3D world. So mm -hmm. that's exactly what we support women do. Yes, and I, I went onto your website and I see all the testimonials and I'm yeah. like, dang, oh, yeah. you're good at what you yeah. do. They love it. You know what's crazy is when women buy, buy the course and they just say yes, it's insane and so beautiful to witness how many transformations and things that start to happen in their life just by them saying, yes, I'm ready, I'm open for something. And then it continues to unfold, so. And past the relationship too in all areas of life, I believe, so. Yes, absolutely. So, yay, so yeah. we will link that down below, go check it out. I'm telling you right now, she knows her stuff and also her course is ridiculously affordable. Yeah. Ridiculously affordable. So go check that out down below. Um, but yeah, today we're going to be talking about finding a partner. But I get that question a lot of like, I need my ex back. I need this one person. How do I manifest that one person, that yeah. specific person? What do you say to those people? Pretend they don't even exist. <laughs> No, no. Um, well, first off, I want to say it's so amazing to be here because your community is so oh. awesome and you guys are into manifesting, which is such a powerful skill set, such a powerful tool. Mm -hmm. And so I totally, it makes sense that you'd get that question, you know, All how do time. I manifest my ex back? Oh, or, because, you know, manifesting is such a powerful tool when you learn it and mm -hmm. as you're learning it, being, you know, with Annie. Yeah. And, um, and then our, our ego can be so sneaky and um, wanting something that may not, may not actually be for our highest good. And we don't know that answer, right? So maybe you want your ex back and it is someone who you're supposed to end up with, right? Absolutely. Like, we don't know it and we don't need to know that, the answer mm -hmm. to that. Mm -hmm. So, um, but in terms of using manifestation to, you know, want to attract or meet or get a specific person, what happens is then it's, you know, it can be a, a slippery slope in terms of y using those powers for, for manipulation, mm -hmm. right? So what I always say is like, you wanna look at what 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 is it that's having you wanna manifest that person? It may be an ex, right? Or mm -hmm. maybe someone at work where you're like secretly have the hots for, mm -hmm. <laughs> or it could be anyone where you're like, I want that specific person. And there's an attraction there, right? There's a reason that, that you're, feeling drawn to it, right? There's a reason that you're like a magnet, like, right? We've all been there. So um, you wanna let go or take it off the table of wanting to manifest that specific person. And what you wanna do is actually realize this is a super cool opportunity to identify what is having me be attracted to that person. Really ponder that question and contemplate it. You know, it could be how expressive they are. Mm -hmm. It could be they're so creative and you're attracted to their ability to create. Mm -hmm. It could be how funny they are. It could be, say it is an ex and say you had a, an experience with them where you felt so spiritually connected or emotionally connected. And it was the most you had ever felt that with one person before. So it could be that you're wanting that. And sometimes in that scenario, if it's a new experience or it was a foreign experience that we then had, we can fall into the trap of believing that we can only have it with that person, mm -hmm. right? So you wanna really identify, okay, what is it that's having me want that person back? And that's gonna free you so much because once you identify the quality, the trait, the thing, the experience that you're wanting, then you, you're taking your power back because you can then allow and support yourself into manifesting and cultivating that versus focusing on the physical form of one person. Because mm -hmm. if you're focusing on one person, you're focusing on that thing solely being in a physical form and you're um, operating from, which we all do it, right? I've done it, so mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't wanna say you are being limited, but because we all have done it, but it's a limited um, paradigm. We wanna bust you out of that so you can really have what it is you're ultimately wanting, which is what you're seeing in that specific person. Yeah, absolutely. And I also think that with that, like that limitation of it has to be that one person, when you 
get into manifestation and understand it's all about the energy. Like mm -hmm. think of the energy of like, it has to be like, there's a tension to that. Mm -hmm. Like, ugh. so just noticing how you're even feeling with that longing, which mm -hmm. longing is usually actually energetically pushing that thing or person away. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And we were just discussing also that like, they say that the way to get over someone is the same way you get someone back or the way you get someone back is the same steps to get over someone just yeah. by like really getting in your energy and like loving yourself as well because for one if you want a partner back and you're just like loving and feeling yourself yeah. they are going to be attracted to that and if that's not for them then you're also getting over them too yeah. and you're gonna feel better either way yes. so what are your thoughts on that? Yeah, babe, okay. So um, definitely, and to make it super tangible, say you identify the thing you miss in your ex, let's just say it's um, an emotional connection, right? Or anything. So you've identified what that what that is. Now you wanna stop, you, you wanna look at, okay, so emotional connection is what I'm craving, right? In what ways can I cultivate that? Or in what other ways have I had that in my life? And look at evidence for other ways you've had that. And also look at new ways that you can go ahead and create that, right? You wanna stop and journal on this. I always recommend journaling mm. because what we're actually doing is creating new pathways and opening up new things for you by really stopping and having you ask, okay, how can I create that? And like Annie is saying, when you, when you let go and you say, you know what, I'm willing to take this power back. I'm gonna no longer have my unconscious or my conscious energy be constantly over, out, and there, hoping, mm. wishing, wanting them to be here. Instead, I'm actually gonna call that back, okay? So if you call it back, it's done. <laughs> I just, voila! Okay, <laughs> and, then, and then what can happen is 100%, they may, and this happens may. a lot, yeah. yeah, come back and want to be a part of your life. But the most important piece is that we don't, we don't call our power back and we don't create what we want in our life because we're hoping that will happen because then it's still a form of, of um, a, a manipulation that's still about them, mm -hmm. right? So you really want to set a really strong, clear intention of I'm choosing to manifest this emotional connection or whatever this thing is that I want in my life from a very pure, intentional place. And the byproduct may be that that then happens, but we don't even care at that point because mm -hmm. we're not attached to that. What we're wanting and desiring is cultivating, creating, and having, experiencing that emotional connection, which you have the power to then create that. And that's where you take those steps mm -hmm. and then they may come back. They may not either way. It, it's about, you know, your big vision for your, you know, I'm relating everything to love, mm -hmm. your, your vision for your love life. You know, mm -hmm. what is it that you want to experience? And if you're wanting a specific person, it's important that you know that that experience is available for you. Um, outside of that person and it's not about being attached to them and it may be them it may not but it's about the vision yes and i do see a lot of people do that where they're like i'm focusing on me but there is that energy of i'm focusing on me but the goal is for them to notice yeah, 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 and yeah. come back to me but like you're saying that then your energy is still out there yeah. with that intention of i'm doing this for them yeah rather than doing it for me to yeah. be in my power. Yeah. So you said journal prompts. I mean, you, yeah. you, you advise people to journal. Are there any like top journal prompts we can give them right now? Woo! Top ones. Like well, I think from what we just went over, so we gave them the, okay, so if it's a specific person, what is it that's having me want the specific person back? Okay. Or want the specific person, maybe it's someone at work. And if it's someone at work and, I mean, we can do a whole other video on this. <laughs> you want him to ask you out, girl, make the moves, honey. Make the moves. <laughs> we as women actually, we actually send the moves before the man. We make the moves before the man. Mm, with our energy? Yes. Or... With our energy, with our with subconscious cues, with our body language, with how open we are, with winking, with at like, We are actually always setting the first move. So when women tell me they're not getting asked out, I'm like, okay, let's talk about this. They're right. closed off usually. Yes, they're they're not they're not sending the signals that they're open, approachable, and available. And there's been a lot of scientific research on this, so it's really fascinating because then you make those simple shifts, and we see this happen in the course. They make mm -hmm. those simple shifts. They're like, oh my gosh, that guy worked at me. I did the move, and I don't know what to do. I'm freaking out. I'm on this day. <laughs> <laughs> it's so it's so common. Okay, I know I'm going on tangent, <laughs> but um, so the journal prompts: What has me be attracted to this specific mm -hmm. person? Um, and then 
This next question, I really want you to spend 10 minutes minimum on because what I've found is that um, this is gonna really stretch your brain. It's gonna open up your prefrontal cortex. It's gonna open up your imagination and it's gonna be really powerful. So it's, um, so it's after you figured out what it is that you're attracted about, you know, in that person, what is it you're desiring, wanting to experience or create or missing, whatever it is, then you're gonna look at in what ways can I create this in my life now? And as you're exploring that, you can also think back to ways in which you had it before. Like for me, when I was manifesting my partner, I was very clear that I wanted to have fun, I wanted to feel safe, and I wanted to feel adored. So when I was doing, I was looking at all the ways in which I've created that and I wanna create that, and I stopped and I wrote a bunch of things out and I was like, oh, I feel like I don't have any other things. I'm like, hang on, I like stayed there and I had so many more ideas and things come up. So that's why I say, give yourself 10 minutes on this. Mm -hmm. um, and then, for example, for fun, it was like, oh my gosh, I love Disneyland, I love dancing, like all of these things, I love camping with my girlfriends. And then it's about really, um, making a commitment to create a life that you're sincerely in love with and, and knowing that you have that power. I love all of that, but I'm also thinking of going back to, you know, attracting or manifesting that specific person because yeah. I, I feel the like attachment some of the people yeah. have that ask me this. So what would you say to those person that's that, that person that's just like, but I'm, so, I need this person so yeah. bad. Like I need you to tell me how I can get them back. Yeah. When we know it's really, it is about the release. So what yeah. do you have to say to those people? How can they yeah. like, <laughs> breathe? Bit. Yeah. 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 Um, just, I want to remind, first of all, I get it a hundred percent. And, um, I think that I want to re remind the women that can relate to that, that are feeling, you know, really like I, I need that one person or I want that one person. And they just feel that longing or that like, maybe it's like a, who knows what emotions you're experiencing or your thoughts and everything. Um, that the truth is, and I, I know that this sometimes can be a hard pill to swallow, it can all, and it can also be very empowering, is that you don't actually need anything from anyone. Like you do not need anything from anyone. And um, I believe in your sovereignty, and I, sovereignty, I believe in your divinity. And, um, and I know that sometimes there's so many different things and teachings and things that we can grow up and thinking that our power, our life are, exists in this person or exists in this last experience or um, just to, I want to give you that reminder of you don't actually need anyone from anything and I know it can feel that way and it can be so it can feel so real yeah. especially if there's um and we could do a whole other uh, you know talk about breakups and, and abandonment even yes yeah, which it usually is <laughs> yeah and like the death that you go through um, mm. in that process but um, one of the most important pieces to manifesting that ultimate dream relationship or that feeling, which is ultimately what you're really desiring, is the letting go. Um, and in the Manifest or Evolve Man course, we have a whole module just on letting go because I understand the importance of clearing your field, clearing your energy, so that you are really open and available for that loving, harmonious relationship where you feel so safe, where you feel so at home. So it's gonna be letting go, which starts with radical acceptance, accepting what is, accepting what isn't, um, accepting um, all the things that you're imagining that you wanted to happen that didn't ever happen, accepting who you were, how were they, like just this deep level acceptance that's going to give you so much freedom and peace. And that's something that we also offer in the course because I, I completely understand mm -hmm. that it's a very common thing and we want to support you mm -hmm. in moving beyond that and, and not beyond it, but also through it because it's an important part of the journey. So that's such a great question and I, I hope that this makes a big difference for you. Yes. Beautiful, yeah. thank you so much. Absolutely, check the link down below. Mm -hmm. Again, if you wanna be one of the thousands, thousands yeah. of women that Rebecca's helped, you can get in on that. Yes. Yeah, so. I give you the, the manifestation, so the manifesting steps, right? Like the energetic steps, mm -hmm. everything Annie teaches, specifically for attracting your partner, and then I also give you the practical steps, like very practical, black and white, do this, do this, do this, just to make it really easy mm -hmm. for you. Mm -hmm. And then there's a great community, so the girls are always cheering each other on, mm -hmm. and, and we're here to, yeah. And it's like you're looking for love, and you're finding connection and love yes. through friendships in your community, right? Yeah. yeah. You'll see on the page, the girls always say, like, every woman needs a cheerleader like Aww. this. So, 
yeah, I'm excited to see you guys in there. And, and I love your community and you guys are so wonderful. So thank you so much, Amy. Okay, thank you for being here and supporting my people. Yeah. And thank you guys for tuning in. If you enjoyed this video and you want Rebecca back on my channel, hit the thumbs up button. If you have any questions, please leave them down below. We'll like interact with you in the comments. And with that being said, thank you again. Yes. Thank you again. And I will see you soon with a new video. Bye guys. Bye.